peacocks. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of um, Feels on Meals. I am Boba and I'm joined by Ozzy. Hello! I'm excited. We are enjoyers of food and uh, food byproducts for <laughs> how many years now? <laughs> oh, going on, going on 30, you know, I know it is 30, 30, 30 nearly 30, years. nearly 31 years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have decided to talk about food for everyone to listen to, maybe on their lunch breaks, maybe when they wake up in the morning, maybe mm. on their drive to work, or, you know, other locations are available. Where do you like to enjoy your food the most? <laughs> so in the bath? Places. You could listen to it in the bath. You've got your tray table with your scones and your jam out. Oh. Don't spill it. Yeah, eating in the bathroom is a bit weird though. Maybe. I don't. I don't have many bathroom foods. I'll take a cookie in the bath once in a while. <laughs> um, we won't be eating in our bathtubs today. Maybe that will be another mm. episode. We'll have to take a note on that. Yep. Good idea. <laughs> Perfect tangent. <laughs> uh, today will be a special episode. It might flow a little bit differently than how the rest of them will because we are going to be going over an american staple one that i would say lots of people are curious about where are we going today o's we're going a cracker barrel <laughs> C cracker barrel which i have heard mentioned many a time in whether it's referenced in popular culture or just by Americans as being a place to go and eat, but it seems like a work of fiction because I've never seen a Cracker Barrel in my life, nor do I understand anything about what they do there. So, um, yeah, I'll be. I'm excited to see what they got. What they got to offer. If I fancy anything off their menu, which I inevitably probably will, because my yeah. impression is is that they sell crackers and cheese. Oh, that's my see, impression, <laughs> without knowing anything. It is a tough barrel to crack. <laughs> um, I'm going to take oh, you on a journey. Okay. Have you have you been on an American road trip before? I have not. I mean, I have on GeoGuessr, but that that's I wouldn't mm -hmm. really call it a road trip. So um, it's a little bit different, yeah. Yeah, I've not been to the US ever. Um, so American yeah. American road trips are kind of like we used to drive, um, my family and I used to drive from Florida to Texas every summer. Mm. That is, uh, let me see how... Yeah, how many hours is that? Hours drive from Florida to Texas. That is 17 hours and 44 <sighs> minutes from what? whatever points they've decided to do. Gosh, that's like, in the UK, you could travel the the full country and back again this is just like that's why i don't know i don't know how many people you know the american kind of like uh experience is actually like traveling that mm. far of a distance i think once in a while or maybe summer trips mm -hmm. is it quite so normal you... to, to do these trips then i guess for you it was did you go it like, was every summer? yeah I've I've done like drives a few different places a few different states because mm. it's like if you can drive there why take a plane and I guess it's part of the experience too even though most of the experience is looking out the window and not really seeing anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I can imagine. Part of the experience. Yeah. I was just gonna say that I can imagine that going into Texas is very like not necessarily. Yeah. Is arid the right word? Very rural. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Just flat. That's my... The worst is going through Georgia and Alabama. There's like nothing out there. And I can wow. imagine some of the other states too. Wow. Um, okay. So, so the Cracker Barrel experience is you pack up in a car, you've got your Game Boy. If we're going by my childhood, it was, you know, playing the Game Boy in the car, uh, aiming it towards the light, catching the street lights <laughs> if it was dark out. Yep. You, f you fall asleep at some point, got maybe a little bit motion sickness from the car, mm -hmm. and then you wake up at this mystical twilight hour <laughs> where you're not sure if it's 7 in the evening or 7 in the morning. Oh. 
And you're parked outside the Cracker Barrel. Wow. Sounds magical. It really does. It is. It's like a, it's like a pocket dimension. So you asked me when was Cracker Barrel invented, and yes. what was your guess, Oz? I, I felt like it was maybe an 80s thing that was sort of brought around in the 80s. Yeah. But I, so, I have no idea. Cracker Barrel was made by Dan W. Evans. He opened the first Cracker Barrel country store on September 19th, 1969, and it wow. was located on Highway 109 in Lebanon, Tennessee. TN? Yeah, that, sound, that looks, I think that's Tennessee. Wow. That's Tennessee. And you can see, I don't know if I click this, the first original Cracker Barrel. Oh my Good goodness. Good country cooking. Someone's driven their wagon there, maybe, <laughs> even though there's cars. Wow. Look at that place. Now, this, I guess, barrel, you do instantly think of. I, I assume this is not what a restaurant looks like. Or is it? Oh. In in America, well, we've got all different kinds. However, the restaurants have, like, maintained sort of this similar image. Because, yeah. let me see. So I've got um, this Cracker Barrel pulled oh, wow. up. Okay. Which is one in Florida. And here's the experience of Cracker Barrel. This is a major highway. Yeah. Which I would assume you would travel. I'm not sure which direction this is going. I think we're in Brooksville, which is kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Right. So you've got, like, whatever this shit is over here, which is, <laughs> like, an abandoned parking lot and some old buildings. You've got the highway that you di directly exited off of, a bunch of forest and trees. I think this is a lake. And back over here, it's, like, just another area that's, like, murder town, you know? Yeah. There's nothing back there. You wouldn't want to be there at night, you know, behind the cracker yeah. barrel. Behind the Cracker Barrel, that's where the danger goes down. <laughs> what is your first impression of the outside of this Cracker Barrel? Well, I gotta say, I mean, I considering the first image of the, the well, the, the one that was first opened, doesn't look mm -hmm. as Western inspired. Yeah. Um, it, it looks like a lot of places I've eaten in that are sort of like greasy spoon kind of places. Mm. Yeah, but I doubt it's anything like that. Um, it looks all right. I mean, yeah, it 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 doesn't seem to have a lot of character from the outside. That's all I would say. You know, a lot. See, of... it, wait till you see inside. Okay, but I mean, I think there might it's be... still got that flat face, but yeah, true. It, I suppose it's... like my comparison is like you know you go to a Pizza Hut and you can see like that's definitely a Pizza Hut just by the shape of the building. Mm -hmm. um whereas is i guess it is kind of like westerny kind of looking i suppose you know it's got that exterior that facade so i can it's see got that kind of like a side of the road like american gas station yeah. vibes almost i guess yeah yeah i can see that so yeah. uh if you can imagine imagine it's a little bit darker out and you can't tell what time it is really and you've pulled up in front of the cracker barrel mm-hmm got the front entrance here and you see all of these little chairs outside oh yeah are they are they to sit i mean oh look at the tiny little one, baby one. <laughs> <laughs> so do people just sit out here on the on the porch these rocking chairs are not only for sitting and waiting to be seated or just sitting in they're also for sale what? and can you see what this is right here uh it's a little blurry can't make it out but is that also for sale what is that it is also for sale i've got another experience here this is a, a texas cracker barrel so you've got oh. a gas station a mcdonald's a bunch of a radisson hotels yeah, yeah a trucker van and then you've got the cracker barrel over here it with, looks of course all of the chairs it looks exactly the same doesn't it mm -hmm. wow now that i know that that's the cracker barrel aesthetic I'd recognize yeah. one anywhere. Like that is a cracker <laughs> barrel. Now let me see. I think here's some here's some images, just regular ones. You've got the food, you've got the outside, you've got the parking spots, you've yeah. got Jim and Carol, or rather maybe <laughs> Carol and Carol on their Carol adventures <laughs> in the Carolinas. That looks um, like they're having a good time. This is oh, the outside. They're playing checkers. 
Yep. What? That's the most bizarre <laughs> choice. <laughs> of so, there's like. Usually there's a ton of these outside the Cracker Barrel, and you can you can see kind of the demographic for the Cracker Barrel is mm -hmm. a lot of older people. You know what? And Be then the children dragged along. Before today, now I was thinking like, I wonder who, wonder, you know, I wonder who eats there. And I, I did actually think like, this might be a place I'd take my grandma to, or my granddad. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a very grandparent restaurant. Um, yeah. And I, I don't know why that is. I don't know, you know, old, old fashioned, not necessarily old fashioned, but traditional. Mm -hmm. um, I think but... it's got like the, the, you know, you go to Sunday church and you might go eat the, at the Cracker Barrel after too, oh, but wow. also the, the road trips thing for sure. Wow. Okay. I'm just impressed that they have checkers and are these pieces left out on the tables? Do people they not? They are. What? And people don't take them. For the most part, I guess it's an, a, an honor system that is found solely in the pocket dimension of Cracker Barrel. <laughs> um, I have played I have played more checkers at Cracker Barrel than I might care to admit. Wow. <laughs> that, is, that is crazy. Uh, I like it though. I like that. You know, and again, um, a draft, as it's called mm -hmm. in, the, in the UK. Uh, my grandparents taught me how to play draft. So keeping on with the theme there. Very, yeah. very much think my grandparents would enjoy the Cracker Barrel. So we've got um, we've got some like, they have they like to stick to the aesthetic of old timey times. Mm -hmm. So we've got like all of these old timey signs outside, stamps. I don't know what those are. I think you sent the letters with them. Yeah. Um, auto supply, Royal Crown Cola, all of those things. Wow. Oh now, my gosh. Now this image. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the inside of the Cracker Barrel. What? So there's a store in here too? There is the first thing that you go into in the Cracker Barrel. What? Is, is it the like a gift shop. I cannot believe there is a gift shop in a restaurant. Yep. So this, I believe, if you're over here where this frog is, mm. this is probably this direction is the entrance. Usually the back right corner from what I've seen, is the, the children's section. They've got dolls. They've got those um, weasels that are attached to those balls that have batteries oh, in them so yeah. that they look like they're rolling around. Yep. Great time. Uh, nowadays, the Cracker Barrels are, you know, they're modernized. You've got tr the new Trolls dolls. <laughs> <laughs> You've got pancake and maple syrup flavored jelly bellies. Delicious, <laughs> delicious. Uh, Darth Re Vader. I see Reese's there. I see what else. They've got a lot of selection of sodas. It looks mm -hmm. like and fudges. Mmm. Uh, this is very so interesting. I would. They've got clothes. <laughs> yeah, what accessories? They've I got home furnishings. This is just, I think, you know, knickknacks up there that are not for sale. Yeah. Um. Oh. There's another shot of the wow. of the main candy display that they have. I'm digging it. It's kind of like a service station mm -hmm. in a way, but they, they don't necessarily obviously have the petrol, like the fuel yeah. top up, but it's kind of like, oh, you know, I could imagine going to this, as you say, on a road trip and being really excited because you get to come in here and, you know, you, you potentially get some sweets mm -hmm. and, and some, some fizzy drinks that are full of um e numbers which is exciting and also you might get a, a, a toy it's yeah. pretty, pretty great i would be very excited now what is an e number oz <laughs> an e num an e number is uh a, 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 i don't know if they're banned in the us but a lot of them are banned here in the uk because apparently uh they're mm -hmm. food additives and they usually add colors to food oh so a lot of sweeties in this country would have had e-numbers in and uh, they started to sort of ban them out of food um i think it was the late 90s and 2000s just because they were concerned that it would cause behavioral issues in children um, oh wow yeah so the, a lot of things if you get like blue colored stuff you generally <laughs> don't get a lot of blue colored things in this country like smarties being one of the main like culprits of this e number that was in blue smarties which was they were everyone's favorites i gotta be honest 
Because you would behave like a criminal when you ate them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the those blue, are the hard drugs, the blue smarties. The blue flavored, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I can't. They might, they might be, they're probably allowed in the US, which is, which is pretty cool. They're a good reason it's to visit. It's why we've got all the, the iPad kids nowadays. <laughs> they're eating all the blue Smarties and they don't know how to act. <laughs> Gotta put them on the iPads when we go to the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> so, um, we've got, this is still, of course, in the gift shop area. We've got a thousand different types of sodas. I, um... um I, I don't, I'm not familiar with all of the flavors, but I know there are some, whatever double cola is, this looks like maybe Harry Potter butterbeer, oh, yeah. which I didn't know they had. Ooh. They've got a lot of cream sodas, mm. uh, usually there's like strawberry, raspberry, um, a lot of root beers. Have you had root beer? I have had root beer. I can't... Have you had a root beer float? I haven't had a root beer float. Damn. Um... Root beer, to me, tastes kind of like, it's very medicinal, isn't it? It's got a very medicinal mm. taste. Uh, it kind of has that, the taste of how Dettol smells a little bit, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's, it's going to be like <laughs> antiseptic. I'm almost, I'm almost feeling insulted in a way, but I also <laughs> am not because I understand because root beer sometimes seems like such an acquired taste yeah, as well. Yeah, it, it and does. And different brands are 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 you know superior to others as well ah, i see now i may not have had a superior root beer mm. that could have been the yeah. case <laughs> uh i'll have to you know in in the uk they've got the american sections yeah of food. i'll have to um i'll have to get your opinion on their their root beer selection yeah uh, i'll and... have to buy a couple and refresh my memory because it's not something i normally have in the fridge okay okay the root beer but i you know just a cheeky once in a while and my grandpa used to of course make the root beer floats oh see i bet i bet i bet those were good oh now i like <laughs> this now this is my kind of place yeah this I mean... is the inside of the restaurant <laughs> which is i assume if you are so you go into this front door Yep. This main area is the gift shop, the kids' corner back here, and then you go to the left through this gateway. And suddenly... And you get into the restaurant bit. Yeah, and then suddenly you're greeted by... Yeah. A pretty... a pretty impressive selection of eclectics here, aren't you? Like... Yes. Imagine dusting this. This is... this is... I like a bit of clutter, though. I like that. You know, there's... I like the gun. Um... Mm -hmm. It's very hunting, you know. It's kind of like, it's kind of weird because it's it's like, oh, we're, we're explorers here, even mm -hmm. though this is a very, I assume, I don't know how many Cracker Barrels exist in the U.S. Probably. Oh gosh, that's a good question. I wonder, uh, I wonder how many. You've got how there. many Cracker Barrels? <laughs> I love the cat. Are there? <laughs> I've got to know. Well, in Florida, there's sixty. In Florida alone, there is 60. My goodness. In America. Yelling the last... 664 wow. Cracker Barrel <laughs> stores. Jeez, and 60 of those are in Florida alone. That is so nuts. Let's see. Restaurant. Oh god, everyone's gonna know how I spell interior. Oh, it's okay. No, just edit that out. I did out my location too. There we go. Um, this is a You're bunch a of pictures. Cracker barrel. <laughs> I'm in. I'm, a, I'm talking to you from inside the cracker barrel. <laughs> the acoustics are great in there. They're very good. Yeah, I'm up on my blue. On my what is it? My E numbers. I've had blue raspberry <laughs> flavor of everything. You're in a rock. You need one of those rocking chairs as well. I think you should really invest in one and. You know, stream, streaming <laughs> chairs, like gaming chairs, overrated. Get a rocking chair from the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I feel like you would be more at ease if you could stream from a, you know, a rocking chair. Well, I mean, my chair does rock and I love it. It's very, it's very soothing. So yeah, I could totally, totally see that. A Cracker Barrel one even better. See, I think, I think the interior actually looks really nice. I think... It's, it's so unique because, let me see... Somehow it feels like they all have basically, I guess, a central theme of the 
of the fireplace yeah. with the gun over it. Yeah, that seems um, to be like a staple for every restaurant. It isn't a cracker yeah. barrel until it has that fireplace I'm, I, with the gun. I can't the... say I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. Um, it gives like a home feel, doesn't it? It's like a, someone's yeah. someone's own home. And I like it. it it's, it's actually a lot more sophisticated than I expected. Um, again, you know, a lot... Uh, uh, from the outside, I was like, where's the effort? But it's all on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's where the magic is. It really is. You've got, like, got this. There's a few partitions of this whatever, like, trellis kind of mm. lattice stuff is. Mm. Um, and now I don't know if these are original Cracker Barrel enthusiasts or family members. There's a baby <laughs> here as well. Get Boba's um, picture up on here. I know. Can... Do you think you could sneak into a Cracker oh, Barrel and repl replace, replace the photo? Them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could I get an OZ inside of the inside of the Cracker Barrel? <laughs> that would be incredible. We'll have to maybe reach out to a Cracker Barrel and see if they'll put our pictures mm -hmm. up. There is um, so they've got like um, just all kinds of stuff. Usually there's like you know old timey ads, mm. whatever this stuff is. It's just kind of like, you know, here's a gas station, goods pharmacy, yeah. oh, poison cough syrup. Oh my gosh. It's now there is some... Um... It's like a, Go ahead. a history museum, kind of. Well, it's trying... I don't know if these things, how authentic these things are. Is that a uh, checkers table inside the restaurant as well? Yes, just in case. <laughs> God, I, just in I case really need a game of checkers. <laughs> yeah. Now... Sticking with the vein of the checkers, there is another little object right here. Oh, what is that? And this is a game that is on every table. It's Let not me tri see. Trivial Pursuit, is it? If only it was. It's actually oh, the peg game. I've never have you played... ever played this? I've never played it. I feel like I may have seen this before, but mm -hmm. I've what on earth? So the peg game is that this is on every single table and I play these every single time without fail. I just can't resist it. <laughs> you get a bunch of different colors of tees. I think these are like golfing tees mm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. You've got this triangle. And so your object of the game is that you are supposed to take one of these pins and top it over another. Mm -hmm. And then you can take out the pin that you hopped over off. Right. And the object is to have as little amount of pins as you can oh. left in the wood. Yep. And of course, if you like hop over certain ones, some of them might be isolated because they can't hop back. Right. Um, jump all but one games. Jump each T and remove it. Leave only one. You're a genius. Leave two and you're pretty smart. Leave three and you're just plain dumb. Oh. Leave four or more and you're just plain igno moose. <laughs> Cracker Barrel Country <laughs> Store. Amazing. See, in this country, right, if you had these on the table, I guarantee they'd be nicked. <laughs> they, wouldn't, yeah. they wouldn't have... This is the kind of place that the UK is, you know. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, that is... It's... What, what, what is weird is that having entertainment on a table mm -hmm. seems so odd to me yeah because usually when i go out to eat with with someone i you know or other people i tend to talk i suppose if you're on your own i, I don't know i could yeah. be i could see it being an entertaining thing to see if you could like um who could get the least amount of pegs i could see mm -hmm. that but i've so gone on a couple dates to the cracker barrel especially in the morning after Aww. um Spending the night with someone. <laughs> now, I, I'm just going to check your IQ. Uh, yeah, just to the, make sure. Do this peg game for me. <laughs> and taking turns back and forth. I think, I think I've got to remind myself to send you one of these. Because I think this would make a great addition. I, I would fully, fully love this. This is my kind of game. Yeah. I, I, there has to be online ones. Oh, 100%. There's a streaming section on Twitch <laughs> for the peg game. I hope competitively. so. Competitively. I've got to I've gotta find one now. <laughs> I've got to find one. Oh, 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 peg game. I mean, there is... Uh, there, I'm, 
I'm going getting off topic now. I'm getting obsessed with mm -hmm. this peg game. But there is a different version where it's like I've played it with marbles on a round thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. There's like I can't remember. It's a. It's like a. What are they called? Solitaire. It's like the solitaire, but it's wooden. Mm. I, I I can't remember how to describe this thing. I'll just I'll link you to it. Maybe it was, maybe this peg game was the original iPad for the kids, you know? Basically. I think so. We've evolved, but not not as much as we think. Yes. Yeah, it's basically distract your children with something. Um, so this, what, oh, is this breakfast that they're doing here? Yes. I, so, see, them, um, I see them eggs. We've got we've got breakfast. That was the one that I was going to really introduce you to because I think it is basic, mm. but they've got some good selections. Mm -hmm. And then we'll look at the lunch slash dinner menu as well. So I've sent you two PDFs, and I see this thing that you sent me. It looks like it looks like a bunch of hazelnuts on a wooden <laughs> on a wooden plate. Eat your hazel. <laughs> well, this is the one I know. That's like a similar yeah. game, I think. So you take out the middle one. And then you're supposed to end up with one in the middle without mm -hmm. anything else. So yeah, it's a very similar oh. game. Yeah. Okay. So which menu should I click on first? The top one, the breakfast? Yes. So you've got um, breakfast served all day. Part of that is because of the you don't know what time it is when you're approaching the Cracker Barrel because yeah. you've been in the road all day long. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So you've got give me give me your impressions of this menu. Ooh, okay, traditional favorites. So folks been enjoying these favorites for years. We have ingredients like grade A farm fresh eggs, coarse ground grits. I really want to try grits. Our own mm -hmm. special golden delicious fried apples, thick sliced hickory smoked bacon, and country or sugar cured ham. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, grandpa. Let's see. Old timers. Grandpa. Yeah. I'm telling you. It. Yeah. Old people fucking love the Cracker Barrel. Um, what is this one? The Country Boy Breakfast. <laughs> that could be you. Oz. I want to be, be Country the, Boy. I want to be Country Boy. Um, three fresh for f f fresh eggs fried apples interesting mm -hmm. interesting hash brown casserole and grits. hash brown casserole is so good i mean it is like the shredded hash brown oh, you know that yeah. they make in most american things and then i think it's got to be like maybe milk or sour cream or something and then Ooh. cheese and it's just like creamy and oh. potatoey and fried and it's very good wow that does sound very nice. I don't see fried apples being a nice addition, but mm -hmm. that is that is me. But I'd try it. I'd give it a go. They're kind of like the um, because they're cinnamon usually too, mm. and cinnamon sugared. So they're kind of like the inside of the apple pie, but you don't get the pie bit. Mm. I'm not partial to it either because I don't like the the texture consistency of squishy apples. You know, because oh. they're 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 kind of soft. They're on the softer side. This um, menu is massive. Isn't it? And it's this is just the breakfast huge. bit. Huge. And you can have this all day. Yep. So they've got to constantly be thinking about the wild main blueberry pancakes just in case. Yep. Eggs you've in got, the basket. Oh. You've got all kinds of stuff. You've got... Usually I get the grandma sampler, I think it is. It mm. says it's new, but I don't think that it's particularly new. Because oh. they've got the buttermilk pancakes, which if you look at this, oh, you yeah. can see the pancakes have kind of like the crispy edge sometimes. Ooh. And Ooh. then they give you these little tiny bottles of maple syrup to pour on your, your pancakes. And you can use that whole thing. Is that just like, is that a, a serving, you know... It <laughs> I'm not sure because I don't use the whole bottle, I don't think. But okay. I would imagine that some people would. And yeah. then you've got, of course, your um biscuits. your biscuits, oh. which is you know, the scone style thing. Are these um, sausages here on this other plate? Yes, those are the the flattened um round sausages. Ah. Sausages. Sausages. Yeah, you do I don't you, see any You like putting the sausage in a in a burger shape. Yeah. 
we prefer it. I don't know why. Maybe we're we're not recognizing it as a sausage. It's <laughs> become its own thing now. Um, so usually that because I like to get if I'm eating meat at the time, I'll get like the the sugar cured ham because mm. I like it to be a little sweet, and the country ham is very salty. Ooh. And then I always go for the hash brown casserole. Nice. Got lots of coffees. Yeah, I like got the breakfast and side plates. I like the fact that you can get milk. <laughs> uh, you know, just like milk is on the menu. Um, yeah, that 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 brings me joy. And you know, they've got options here. You could have whole chocolate, skim, reduced mm -hmm. fat. You know, and that's 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 nice. And it's only two dollars ninety nine for a large. It's pretty cool. There's so much different milks that they give you. Two dollars and fifty nine cents, of course. Bottomless refills for your sodas. Wow. For your teas. Milk, though, that's not bottomless. I don't that understand why. That cow's gonna run out. I don't understand why. I also really enjoy that on page five, there's uh, mm -hmm. on the kids' menu, they've got the little peg game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the original iPad is there. The, the iPad, yeah. I mean, I would say that, like, my breakfast would have to mm -hmm. maybe be off the kids menu like i you think so I, I would want it to be off the main menu but i don't know mm -hmm. how large the portions are and looking at the you know the calories on some of these things is kind of like terrifying oh that too let's see the kids ones the highest thing is 530 and that's two buttermilk pancakes that see syrup or any sweet topping that sounds about what i sh i probably be aiming for for breakfast mm -hmm. rather than like where's grandpa grandpa's like grandpa's getting you know you're looking at maybe nearly a thousand calories for grandpa's country fried breakfast mm -hmm. so oh gosh you know i've i've been so used to as an american just ignoring those numbers <laughs> i mean usually i mean usually i would be so but i suppose like on a road trip you want a big breakfast mm -hmm. don't you or Whatever time of day you're you're eating, you know, if you fancy mm -hmm. breakfast food, you, you're probably not going to be stopping for an, a long time. So it's mm -hmm. it's a good shout to get a lot of food in you. So yeah, it does look good though. Like I'm very impressed with the actual size of the thing just for mm -hmm. breakfast. To me, this is like a whole restaurant. You know that that that's that's kind of what I'd think. That's all they they mm -hmm. would do, but it's massive. Um, we can um. Yeah, it's, breakfast is pretty basic. You've got your eggs, your pancakes, your scones, everything like that. Yeah, it's big. We can look at the uh, the other one now, which is the, the lunch and dinner menu. The main one. And that will be oh. a little bit more where we can actually, we can see what O's, what O's is interested yeah. in. Yeah. So we've got the, the first page, of course, is there very nicely styled introduction Let's home style skip. has always been our home style, style. It's... kind of cute kind yeah, of cute yeah and they've got the daily deals served with hand rolled buttermilk biscuits or cornbread and real butter have you had cornbread i have had cornbread um it's so delicious it is very delicious however i got it from i think in the uk they don't do it how you guys in the US would mm -hmm. do it. It had pieces of corn in it. Okay. And I think they do that once in a while for okay. ours. And also they put jalapenos in it. Mmm. Sometimes. It sometimes was... they do jalapeno cheddar ones. Mm. It was good. Um it is it is nice. I'd like to maybe try and make my own cornbread at some point. I think that would be, that'd be Oh yeah. Good. That'd be good. We've just got boxed powder mixes here that you can just of course instant cornbread basically amazing so you've got your daily deals um and then your breakfast all day so i guess these are the things that they mm -hmm. so, so enjoy some of your favorite breakfast items all day oh i, oh, see. I see chicken and french toast my goodness or full menu available upon request so does oh. that mean you can still have the full breakfast menu maybe maybe if you ask nicely oh so we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday are there starting at 11 a.m. for most of them. Mm. Um, we've got some kind of broccoli cheddar chicken with sides, turkey and dressing with turkey gravy, and sweet potato casserole with pecans. Wow. 
uh, hand breaded fried pork chops, and then also pot roast, so beef roast, potatoes, carrots, onions, and all of that. And wow. then I am kind of still intrigued by the stuffed cheesecake pancake breakfast that is available Whoa. for lunch and dinner. Buttermilk pancakes with cream cheese, cre cheesecake filling mm -hmm. topped with fresh seasonal fruit, powdered sugar, and strawberry syrup, plus two mm -hmm. eggs and a choice of bacon or smoked sausage. Dang, that's a lot of food. And for only $10.49. Yeah, that that's, too. That's not bad. Which is what? In in GBP, that's still like two or three dollars less than that, I think. Yeah, it'd be like seven pounds, maybe, mm -hmm. around that. Does sound good. And, and then... oh my gosh, for the pancakes and I suppose the two eggs, 1,240 <laughs> calories. And wow. then if you get bacon or sausage, it's an, extra... an additional. Oh, wow. I mean, I can imagine like a fry up in this country would be very much the same. I mean, we fry mm -hmm. bread here, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> It's, You've got it figured out. It's it's going to be around the same. I, I think, you know, usually you don't get the calories on menus in the UK. Not Sometimes mm -hmm. you do, but not all the time. So it's interesting to see, like, how much is in everything. Um, mm -hmm. So you've got the favourites down here as well. Um, oh, I see. So you can pick three sides or two sides. Is that the right? Countryside choice, three, two. What does that mean? Okay. So you've got, you're looking at the Cracker Barrel favorites. Yeah. Served with handmade or hand rolled buttermilk biscuit, cornbread and real butter. Oh, and country side choice. So if you get three sides, it's $12.19. If you get two sides, it's $10.69. Oh, okay. So you, you pay a little bit more for more sides. I see. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, do you know the concept of country fried? What that is? No. What is, what is... How so country fried steak. Are you telling me a country fried the steak? <laughs> if you can believe it. <laughs> so you've got a steak what? that is battered and fried and then has... Oh my god. Usually some sort of beef gravy on that the top. That looks f pretty fantastic. I think my affinity to anything battered and fried though is... It's pretty strong. It looks it mm -hmm. looks good. Oh yeah, I I definitely try that. I just I still am kind of averse to the idea because I'm I if I eat a steak I like to have like yeah. a very rare steak. Yeah, yeah. And this is like, it's been breaded, which just <laughs> for some reason to me feels so wrong. But I know it's such a like staple. You can also do chicken fried steak or chicken Ooh. fried chicken or something like that. Wow, okay. So, I mean, I, I would say, like, it's probably good for lower quality steaks, but yeah, you definitely wouldn't mm -hmm. want a nice sirloin, like, battered and deep fried, would you? Oh, could you imagine trying to eat through the bread of the outside, oh. too, and just, the, like, <laughs> if it's well done. A well done sirloin is probably just so difficult oh. to get through. No, no. But it sounds intriguing, and mm -hmm. I've never heard of this, so interesting. Um, mm hmm I like the fact that you've got catfish on this menu. That's interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never see catfish in the UK on a menu. Never They're see. everywhere here. You can walk outside and pick one right up. Oh. <laughs> Good boys. They're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> eat them, please. <laughs> please eat the catfish. <laughs> uh, you got you got some southern fried chicken here. Sunday home style mm -hmm. chicken, tuned boneless chicken breasts, hand dipped in our special buttermilk batter, mm. um, breaded and deep fried crispy golden brown. Damn, Sounds honey good. on on fried chicken. Do you ever do that? Honey, no. <gasps> oh, oh. So the next time you have fried chicken, put honey on. Drizzle some, drizzle some honey on it. What? Dip it on there. Whatever. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Or alternatively. Dip it in maple syrup. I, I was going to say, I bet maple syrup would go very well. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting, interesting. I'm going to give it a try, I, I promise. That'll be my my resolution, mm -hmm. is to try that. Um, again, we've got home-cooked classic starters. So these are your starters, are they? I think, I think these are just more... 
<laughs> just more choice. Specials and choices, but oh I gosh. think these ones just don't... Well, they do also give you the, the choice of two country slides. I don't know what the difference is between these ones and the ones above them, because there is also catfish with basically yeah. the same... I wonder... Hmm. Maybe this is just like, this is what everyone loves and comes to the Cracker Barrel for, the favorites. The classics. And then you've got some, also some, some other things, I mm. guess, that people like. To be fair, these seem lower calorie versions. Mm. Slightly. Less desirable then as well, usually for us Americans. <laughs> <laughs> these are the rubbish meals, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. beans and greens, you know cup of our pinto mm -hmm. beans and turnip greens cooked with country ham served with an onion slice chow chow mm -hmm. relish and vinegar and that's only 410 calories i do not know what chow chow relish is but i, I am my curiosity it, is peak i was gonna say i'm interested uh but then you've got country fried shrimp there that's 900 calories so mm -hmm. hush puppies too what is hush have you had a hush what a hush, a hush puppy, puppy is a ball of bread so oh small savory God. deep fried round ball made from cornmeal based batter oh. and they're usually like eaten in the south and you get like um oh well, they look so it's oh, a bread look... ball yes they look with good a hard outside and a soft fluffy inside oh. and they've usually got some kind of spices to them too um like these ones they're a little bit different and you can put like a meatball kind of, you know, whatever you're keen on. These ones have a little bit more stuff in them as well. Oh my they are God. very, very good. They, they, they are look very good. Very good. I'm tempted. So bread balls. So probably I would be having, I mean, I do like shrimp. There's so much choice. I'm going to quickly have a quick, I'm just going to see yeah. what I would choose out of this. So I'll go over the slides too while you do that. Because okay. we've got, of course, still hash brown casserole, mm. mashed potatoes, fries, macaroni and cheese, dumplings, fried mm -hmm. okra, which is a very Southern American uh, staple, sweet whole baby carrots, corn, beans, beans, broccoli, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and then of course the loaded baked potatoes, the loaded macaroni and cheeses, the loaded hash brown casseroles, or alternatively, you may have two buttermilk pancakes on the side of your oh country fried gosh. shrimp. <sighs> wow teas, beers, little kids' menus of cheeseburgers, grilled cheeses, fried chicken tenders, all of that stuff. I honestly think, oh, although this sounds good, I think I'd probably go for, and then it's kind of, kind of boring of me, mm -hmm. but I, I'd probably go for either the meatloaf or mm -hmm. the hand-breaded fried chicken tenders. See, I don't think that's boring because when it comes to like, if you order those things from like, um, maybe like a pub or like a, you know, Burger King or something, mm. <laughs> you know, the Burger King meatloaf. F famous <laughs> Burger King meatloaf. <laughs> then those, yeah, maybe those are kind of like, okay. Or if you go to like an Italian restaurant or something and you get the chicken tenders. But I think this Cracker Barrel southern or just american in general i think going with the chicken tenders or the meatloaf that is the american experience that's what i want yeah and and i'd probably get with that macaroni and cheese mm -hmm. and man i'd have to try this hash brown casserole i i can't i can't oh the but the cheesy core i could get three though couldn't i i'd get the mm -hmm. hash brown casserole macaroni mm -hmm. and cheese and the cheesy coarse ground grits while they last yes <laughs> while they last because you know what people buy those up they're crazy I about bet. the grits i bet grit crazy <laughs> i think i think for me i would go with maybe something also i don't know if there is anything extremely fancy on this menu so i don't know if boring Cat is the right word catfish seems fancy but i'm not a huge fish for main per i mean i am but i, mm -hmm. I prefer to I don't know, like, I wouldn't hand batter chicken tenders myself. So when I go mm -hmm. out for food, I'd, I'd like to get something that I wouldn't be bothered to make mm -hmm. myself. Like, I can, I can, I can, like, put 
fish and some flour and spices and fry it myself it's it's not too hard so yeah but anyway what would you what would you go for what's your so i do love an all-day breakfast Mm -hmm. so i i would be partial to maybe doing a breakfast however um when i was living at home my dad would make chicken and dumplings and so i am pretty keen on chicken and dumplings you know Mm -hmm. what sides what sides you getting though Jeez. Okay, if I go with, let's see. Oh, I can't believe they give you three sides. <laughs> but it's so cheap. It's so it cheap. It is. You have to do it. Now, should I double up on the dumplings? <laughs> More Just dumplings. Pile them in. I think I do the the hash brown casserole, and then maybe some broccoli, so that I wouldn't feel as bad for having a pot full of like creamy yeah. chicken and bread. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then maybe like mm, I don't know, maybe just some some carrots or some corn, I think. Usually for sides I'm like, okay, time to time to do a little bit more of a good behavior Veg- thing. Vegetable, get, yeah. Yeah, get vegetables. Unless I'm I'm going all out and then sometimes. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, maybe two buttermilk pancakes though, because oh, I Yeah. I think I'll say it. I think I'll get two buttermilk pancakes nice. on the side. Yeah, this what is... I usually do is eat half anyways and take it home. Yeah, well, there you go. I, I was going to say the the sort of um, the the idea of having doggy bags in the mm-hmm. US is a lot different from here in the UK as well. Like you're not really expected to want to take your food with you, mm-hmm. whereas I think in the US it's a lot more sort of acceptable to go. Can I can I take the rest with me? Yeah, um, I, I do think... that pretty much everywhere I go because yeah. I feel like especially our portions are so big i mean Mm -hmm. it's basically the whole amount of calories you're supposed to have in a day just about Mm -hmm. i only ever really eat half of something take it home and then either nibble on it later or have it the next day yeah yeah and for the price as well i'm just really impressed i'm really impressed yeah i'd probably get in a beer as well with Mm this um i like that oh i'd be getting a pabst all the way, Paps Blue Ribbon. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. It's really hard to find over here, but it's really, one those of my... were. S- <laughs> it's one of my the favorites. Typical hipster beers. It those. is. I know. I know it is. But it's 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 <laughs> it's even more hipster in the UK because it's really hard to find. So that is too funny. Yeah, I think I'd just get a soda or a tea. I like their um. They usually have like flavored lemonades. Oh, oh man! They don't have too fancy of desserts. I like the idea of getting a cheeseburger as well, just off the kids' menu. <laughs> oh yeah, that would not be bad. Where are you've... the desserts? Are all the way at the bottom. Oh. You've got a double chocolate fudge Coca Cola cake Whoa. <clears throat> with ice cream, which is I think I've had a Coca Cola cake before, where I think the Coca Cola is just part of the like mixture that's baked right. into the cake. Mm-hmm. Pretty tasty. Yeah. Uh, biscuit beignets. Mm. Are you familiar with beignets? Beignet, isn't it like a fried donut-y thing? Yeah, it's like a little like um pillow, basically. They're oh. from... I don't know if you've watched Princess and the Frog, but she makes beignets in those, and I think oh. those are usually people's introduction to beignets. I um, was first introduced it from a really like obscure French film mm-hmm. uh, uh, with... Mon- I think it was Mon Oncle. It, it's really weird, obscure. Your your uncle was in a French film. No, <laughs> <laughs> mon oncle. Mon oncle. It's a it's a, it's a weird reference, but that's how mm-hmm. I knew I know about beignet is. Okay. They, but they are like yeah, as far as I know, like little donuty fried things, but they sound good. I bet they're good. We've got the um, and you can have it with. Butter pecan sauce for dipping, oh. or a peach cobbler. I'm oh. not too keen on any of these. I think I'd just get fudge cake or beignets. Oh, I don't know. I expected their dessert menu to be a lot more expansive. Um, mm-hmm. Personally, if I was going for dessert, I'd get the peach cobbler. Yeah. Um, I like a I like a fruity, a fruity thing, hot mm-hmm, fruit, mm-hmm. delicious. Um. And then we've got we've got the closer of the Cracker Barrel menu. Ooh. Lots of folks, this is what you were asking us, lots of <laughs> folks ask us how we got our name. Well, it's pretty simple and carefully picked. See, back in the day, crackers were shipped in barrels to country stores. When the barrels were empty, they were used as a place to hold a checkerboard. Ah. 
a conversation or both. So while many things have changed, some things never will. Wow. So the 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 checkers boards are part of the history. That's part that's... of Cracker Barrel lore. <laughs> Where's the mention of the peg game, though? Come on. That's what I want. Where did, Where that did come those from? originate? Yeah, did they transport those in barrels too? That's I don't know. What I'm wondering. That's very, very nice menu. So yeah, I think I'd definitely go for. As much as I like burgers, I definitely think that I'd have to go with something very comfort food, like like say the meatloaf, mm -hmm. and the chicken tenders. Um, I'm just going to Google what crack barrel chicken tenders look like. Mm. Okay. just want to see if they've got an example. Oh, oh they've got... Oh, I think the breaded ones. Because yeah. the other ones look like they're copycat cracker barrel grilled tenders. Yeah, you don't want grilled. That's not the reason I'm going. I, I don't think so. Fried. And... If that is from the Cracker Barrel, you get quite a lot, mm -hmm. which I'm happy about. Yeah, they look good. I mean, if 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 anyone's got an image, maybe there'll be one on a Yelp review, perhaps. If you go, if you take a, t a trip to the Cracker Barrel down the street or down the state line, tag us in a photo. Yeah, please share, do. Share your food with us. I want to see... You've got to now order either the meatloaf or the chicken mm -hmm. tenders just for me. Um, because I want to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So what what is your feeling on the Cracker Barrel O's? Did it live up to your expectations? Uh, well, what's, it, your, what's your impression? It completely surprised me. Because also, I forgot to mention, but Cracker Barrel was actually a brand of cheese that was, uh, I think it was by Kraft. Mm. Kraft do a cheese that is called Cracker Barrel and um, I spoke to my mum actually before doing this and uh, she said oh that was a cheese that we used to get for Christmas was Cracker Barrel and it com comes in like a, a, a rectangle uh, what's a <laughs> what the fuck is, is it like a is I think I think I have one in the fridge no you don't I think I do it's Come like on. like a long what is the Cu three? I know what you're asking. What's the three dimensional of a rectangle? A cuboid, isn't it? Some is it a coffin? It comes in a cheese coffin. <laughs> I want to be buried in a cheese coffin. <laughs> and it, do you think that's Cracker Barrel branded cheese, I don't like know. from the actual Cracker Barrel? I don't because know. Because I've got one in my fridge, and it's like a white cheddar, and it's already pre-sliced, and I just yeah. have been running to the fridge every yeah. now and then and grabbing one. And my mum said, like, you knew it was they get it for Christmas in the 60s and they stopped selling it over in the UK at some point but mm -hmm. um, yeah it used to come in like a little foil package um, and she said it was great but they don't do it here anymore so I had this impression that it was going to be cheese heavy you know like a cheesy mm -hmm. cheesy place um, not necessarily modern but uh it lived up to my expectation of being quite like comforting and old fashioned, but I was surprised at the volume of choice. Mm -hmm. Very surprised. And to be honest, it sounds like it's quite a high quality food place. Would you say like, you know, when you've eaten there, you felt like it's quite fresh? It depends. I've had really good breakfasts there at mm -hmm. the one that's close to me, especially. Mm -hmm. I haven't so much ventured into their lunch and dinners um, because those, I think, is where I've seen maybe the quality lacking. Oh. But I don't know because, as you know, there are over 600 Cracker Barrels in America. <laughs> True. True. So some of them might be, you know, tarnishing the Cracker Barrel name. I don't mm. want to judge too much on them. But I think, I think usually the consensus is that it's a decent meal, especially when you've been traveling for a long amount of time. But here and there, you might hit a Cracker Barrel that's out in the middle of, you know, Idaho or something where they've seen maybe one person pass by and yeah. about 300 tumbleweeds. Because that's, uh... <laughs> that's the other thing, like the sheer amount of food that they have on offer, mm -hmm. you know, how how much they're getting through. That's always a bit of my a worry of mine is like, mm -hmm. I think I found an example. Yeah, I found an example of the meatloaf on Yelp. Oh, oh my, did you? Oh, my goodness. It actually Cracker looks barrel. really sad. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh no! <laughs> it looks like a complete. Oh no! You need to if you Google Google um, Cracker Barrel Yelp. That's what okay, I. Let's that's, see. That's what I googled, and it was the on the all, and I think it was the top one I clicked on actually. The top right, link. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at a couple because these are. Oh yeah. Sort what... of in the area. Hmm. The country fried. Some of it is a little lacking on wow, the old Yelp. Look, I was gonna say like the, the it looks very brown and quite mm -hmm. beige and obviously from the description of the food that's what you'd I guess expect but mm -hmm. the portion isn't actually as big as I thought it was gonna be. Let's see <gasps> if I can. <gasps> oh my gosh. So someone's posted the picture of uh, a bunch of, like maybe a fall themed squirrel thing. Some of this one here in Texas, that it's looks looking right. pretty good. That looks pretty good. Also, I want this oh, witch pig really oh badly now. Oh my goodness! I just the shared came. shared it. Oh nice! I shared <laughs> a, a photo of the Let's meatloaf see. with you. Oh God, Oz! It looks so bad. It looks doesn't look great, does it? It looks so bad. Let's see what they say. Horrible ham, not edible. Horrible macaroni. Look like soup soup. <laughs> Don't soup know. soup. Oh, soup. Don't soup, know. Soup. Never came. <laughs> Biscuits oh my gosh. in the oven. Arrived way after dinner. Fish fry. Oh, fish fry. Tasteless. Table next to us. Return their meal. This location is... Um, what do they say? This This location is... Absolutely nothing like other Cracker Barrels. Be prepared for an mm -hmm. epic disappointment. Very friendly staff, but they all look completely overwhelmed. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Although then there's some really good ones. There's like five star, the fried chicken, the meatloaf, the burgers, etc. Always top quality food. Outstanding service. People that work at Cracker Barrel have always been friendly, helpful, and cheerful. So That's the other thing. The workers... When when they've been there for a certain amount of time, they get a certain amount of stars on their uniforms. Oh, like flair. Is that what yeah. they call it? So it's kind of like a pride thing, I think, mm. too. <laughs> um So yeah, that was that was the cracker barrel. I think I think we've gotta get you to one in real life one day. So I'd you can to. get the full experience. We'll kidnap you. Take you to an unknown Cracker Barrel <laughs> location where you don't know if it's Not, 6 a.m. Yeah. or or 6 p.m. I've seen a picture of the old timers breakfast. I, I, mm -hmm. I've seen your the hash brown. How does it look? It looks actually really good. I can understand why you would order um, breakfast. I think it's here. got onion bits in it too. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it looks really really good. Like the breakfast it's looks tasty, superb, and I actually really like the addition of a slice of orange there for for garnish like <laughs> it's supposed to make you feel okay i think about about eating like a decent amount of food it's so you don't get scurvy you know it's like here just suck on mm -hmm. this orange so, yeah so you've got some vitamins i do want to say the hash brown casserole usually looks a little bit better than that oh because it's usually got some crispy bits to it it's a little bit more cheesy looking Mm. And it's more fried looking. This one is okay, but it doesn't measure up to my your hash brown experience. Casserole. Fair mm -hmm. enough. It does look really good though. So I, mm -hmm. I fully, I'm fully with you. I feel like you made the better choice here with the breakfast. <laughs> so breakfast is hard to fuck up. I think. True. Breakfast food is always great. Wow. So um, yeah, that was the Cracker Barrel. Well, thank uh, you. If you if you enjoyed this, we will be working on these. Um, I think podcasts will go out maybe every other week or so or whatever we're available to do. We're going to have a little bit of a different format usually. Uh, Cracker Barrel, of course, is a special experience. Mm. I'm glad. If you would like... Glad I've, I'm just glad I've experienced it. I'm glad I understand. I now know so much. Well, I just need to visit one. That's the, the, the next step. We're gonna take you, we're gonna play checkerboards, we're gonna- I'm gonna get you that game with the pegs. I'm gonna send you one or find you it online oh my gosh, <clears throat> to yeah. play. I just need to play- playing one online will be fine, I'll end up losing those pegs. Mm-hmm. 
but yeah, it was great. I they really get they it. get lost once in a while. I, I really enjoyed it though. It was it was quite inter- it was very interesting and a, and a gift shop <laughs> in a restaurant. I mean, that too. There's something for everyone at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Excellent. If you would, uh, if you listening out there would like us to check out maybe one of your favorite restaurants or something that you think we would find interesting, there is a Gmail account which you can send those into. Not sure when we'll start doing those, but it would be nice to have some things to consider. Yeah. That is feelsonmeals at gmail.com. That is F E E L S O N. M E A L S at gmail.com. And this was Feels on Meals. We love eating food. Yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining me, Ozzy. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. Thank you for showing me Cracker Barrel. And thank you so much <laughs> for everyone who has listened today. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know. Let us know. Yes. And we will we will see you all next time. See you all soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.